Hi everyone, good morning. Today I am really excited because a week or so ago I was planning to upgrade my phone. I've been using my phone, I have an iPhone 6s, I have had that for more than a couple of years and so um, I have decided I, I needed a new phone that has a little bit more better camera but since I don't have the budget for an iPhone 11, I was thinking of buying an iPhone 8. So the week that I was going to buy an iPhone 8, it just so happened that Apple was going to release the SE, second generation iPhone SE 2020. So I was at, uh, I was actually lucky that they were going to do that because otherwise I would have purchased an iPhone 8. Um, so did I make a mistake of purchasing an SE instead of iPhone 8? Well, I'll show you the features um, later on. But before that, I'm going to show you what I got. I, I ordered the phone and it arrived today. So I ordered a product red. And this one here, part of, if you, if you purchase the red, part of the, the sale profit goes to COVID-19. Okay, so this is the box, and this this one here comes with information with the phone. It's so nice. So it's you know this is the phone right there, and then it comes with um, the earphones, the charger. Okay. So the uh, this actually is the same uh, um, 4.7 ret Retina HD display as. The, as the iPhone 8, but the brains and um, the processing, the power of it, it has the iPhone 11. It has um, a 13 Bionic processor, which is the one that's used for iPhone 11. Um, it has dual SIM cap capabilities, and it has a haptic haptic touch instead of the 3D touch. Now, some of them, some of you. So I was able to successfully put the protective, the glass cover, protective cover. Now I bought this case from Spigen. So let's see. So I wanted to get a clear cover so that it would showcase this red color. But the old one that case that I had was everything was clear, even this one here, but then it turned yellow. So this one here, I like it because the edging, the sides of it's red. There's a protective film that you need to remove, so you need to remove it. So here's the protective film and I'm going to remove it. And you also do the inside. You also do the inside. And then let's put it in here. There you go. Ooh, nice. Awesome. So there's my iPhone SE. There. So I'm going to activate this and I'll show you when it's on. 
Okay guys, I have um, activated my new phone and I, I'm going to show you a neat feature on this um, haptic touch. Um, you don't really have to press it hard, but you press it longer and then it will show you like a peep, uh, give you a peep. Um, like for example, if I press the, um, if I hold, then it shows you, you know, the take a selfie, record video, whatever on, on that one. So if I press... Um, let's say if I press notes, you don't have to really press hard, you just uh, um, pr uh, hold, hold it and then it would show you like a, they, they call it like a peep and it would show you a preview of of what you have uh, and, then, uh, and then it would show you new notes, new checklist, you know, it's like a summary. So I think I find it, you know, pretty cool. And then, uh, and I like... I like the the camera on this phone, but I will show you um, a comparison of the photos that I took using this phone. So, if you ask me, is it a good idea to um, buy the SE second edition instead of the iPhone 8? You betcha. I just showed you some features of this SE 2020 second edition. So it's up to you if you want to decide to get one for yourself, but for me, I am so glad I bought this phone. It has a lot more features than I thought I would have if I had purchased the iPhone 8. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something from this video, please click like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and Dakang Salamat.